Uh, well, I broke my jaw in college. I got punched straight there, cracked my bone, and my tooth went into my tongue. Puck hit me in the jaw. I'm trying to go get back on the ice, and two of my teeth were like, from my bottom teeth were like this far apart because my jaw was completely broken, and uh, that wasn't great. I've had to have a couple stitches like in and around my mouth, which kind of sucks. I had a retainer and couldn't eat very well for a while, so that was probably my worst one as far as teeth go. Kicked in the face by uh, Kevin Hayes when he was here and knocked out two teeth and I actually just got them put in this summer. I've been lucky so far with teeth, which means I'm probably going to lose a couple this year. Probably Brady Shea. One of the Russians, I don't know, Booch, Vladdy. He gets in the wrapper and he doesn't leave too often. It's hard to pick out one guy. I feel like they're usually at home watching, watching some new show. Hopefully don't have a lot of binge watching this year and guys spend time with each other. It depends what you're looking for. I can think of a few. Maybe Hank because everyone loves him and in New York City it'd be pretty cool. I'd say Henrik maybe, just like a day in the life of Hank. I think a day in the life of Jesper Fast would be pretty interesting. He's so quiet. I just want to know what he does on a daily basis. Brandon Lemieux can't keep his mouth shut for very long, so he'd probably have some pretty good content. Right, Tony D'Angelo. Following Tony D'Angelo would be a good time. He's a laugh. <laughs> he just, he just got the first eye for it. He'd be an interesting guy to follow around with. In terms of pure entertainment, maybe like one of the Russians. Gucci's, Gucci's a riot, so that'd be pretty, pretty funny. They usually are up to some pretty crazy stuff, and they're always, uh, you know, pretty vocal and opinionated. We got a bunch of guys that could probably provide something a little bit different for, uh, depends what you're looking for.